One of my favorite new tools that I have implemented in my business, my YouTube channel this year is called Notion. And although I'm using it to basically manage my entire business from my YouTube channel to the Video Pursuit Society, my membership program, and everything in between, in this video, I wanna show you how I plan and organize my YouTube content how to create a content calendar, an editorial calendar, if you will, using Notion. So we're gonna dive into exactly what I have set up here so you can create it for yourself. If you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and this channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive as a video content creator so that you can become the boss of your own future. And it really just comes down to taking the right steps in the right direction, like subscribing to this channel. So make sure you do that now. And I think planning out content, it, it becomes sort of a personal process for people. If I don't know what I'm doing, if I don't know what I'm supposed to be working on this week, then I just won't work on the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And so Notion helps me kind of keep everything organized. And the content calendar, editorial calendar that I created in Notion is actually the very first thing that I did. So you can see here, I have YouTube planner right here in the middle. And these are all topics that I have actually planned on creating. They're not all completely scripted out, but they are all keyword researched. And you can see I have dates in here on exactly what I am planning to create. And the one here on how I plan my content with Notion is uh, I have that for down for February, but I felt like doing it this week. So I'm going to, and we're going to switch this up. It's Friday, December 18th. So we'll put that right up here. So if I open this up, all I have to do is hit open here and I'm going to hit open as page so we can see the whole thing as a page. And I have a ton of what these are, are all properties. So what this means is there's a lot of them there. What this means is it's one big massive checklist essentially. I like to have my content organized by cycle. So pre-production, production, promotion, evergreen, complete. So what this means is because I have not created this video yet as I'm doing it right now, this is in pre-production mode. Technically, we can put this in production since I am recording it right now. Once I'm done editing, it'll be in promotion mode, which means I published it on YouTube and now I need to send it to my email list, um, turn it into a blog post, share it on Twitter, all those kinds of things were in promotion mode. And once the video is no longer new anymore, then I would switch it to evergreen, meaning okay, now we can, you know, like a month from now, we can share it on our Facebook page or our Twitter or something, or I can mark it as complete if it's just not a topic that works for resharing um, over time. And most of my stuff really is evergreen content. So content type, this is a YouTube video. It's not just a blog post or a podcast episode. So we have that there. Date to be published is self-explanatory. Video status. Now this is the status of the video itself. So it's a little bit different than the cycle. The cycle is for the whole entire cluster of content. The video, the blog post, the IGTV video, it's all in this, you know, based on this one piece of content, it's like a cluster of content. So the cycle covers the whole cluster. The video status is just for the video. So right now I have it selected as ready to plan. I'm gonna move it on to ready for B-roll because I'm shooting it right now. Series is just a way for me to categorize my content within my own um, kind of content planner here. So I have this under productivity. Video title, this is going to be the video title. This is my focus key phrase, how I plan my content. Um, we may have to revisit that a little bit because I should probably also target notion as a key phrase as well. When I have my thumbnail created ahead of time, I can upload it here just so that I have a visual. And as we go down this list, some of these things are more like post production type of stuff. So once the YouTube video gets uh, published, I come in and make sure I check this box that it's published. Once the blog post gets published, we check the box and we make sure that it's published. 
once we send out the email, we'll send out the email or we'll just decide we don't need an email for this one. Same thing with the IGTV video. So we go through this entire checklist system here inside of Notion. And it's this one is a little bit empty because I'm still creating the actual content itself. But let's take a look at one that's already been published. So how to add text and titles in iMovie has already been published. The blog post has been published. So you can see here who's responsible, completely empty. The cycle is complete. It's a YouTube video. It was published on the 17th of September. All of these things are completed. And the reason why this is important is because if I come in here, let's just say, somebody in my Facebook group, the Thriving Side Hustle Video Content Creators Facebook group um, asked me, hey, I'm trying to learn iMovie and do you have any tutorials on iMovie? I can come in here and search for just iMovie related content and I have the blog post URL over here. Here's the YouTube URL and it's all right there for me, the blog posts and the YouTube videos, and I can send those links to whoever needs them. I can also easily go and find all of my content on a particular topic or even in a particular series, like all of my video editing content and see what have I already published? What can I create some piggyback content on? And it's all right here inside of Notion, instead of me having to go to my YouTube channel and to my blog, which are two completely separate platforms, here it all is just kind of merged into one. Notion can do so many different things. Um, it's not just like a, like a spreadsheet like you have here, but this is the database kind of functionality of Notion. That's how I use this to plan out my content. And because of that, it makes it possible to see these pieces or these clusters of content in different ways. So down here under blog status, I can see which of my uh, pieces of content are either waiting to be published to the blog or waiting to be reviewed to publish to the blog. And I can see all of these right here. So at the top, I'm kind of looking at it from the perspective of these are the videos that I need to create. And down here, I'm looking at the same database. This is the same information. It's just displaying it a little bit differently so that I can look at it from the perspective of, okay, what is happening on the blog? So under production tracker, I created sort of like a board like you can do inside of Trello or Asana. And uh, this way I can actually move things around. So once this is done here, I can just move it over to the promotion side. I can move it back and you can move, move everything around just like that. And this will propagate across all of the database within Notion. So right now we have the cycle under production. If I move it under the promotion cycle, then if you come back up here and we open it up again, where are we? Right here. We open this up again, you can see under cycle, now it's under promotion. If I move it back to production under the database properties, then again, we move back down here and here it is back over under production. And so you can look at the content, look at the, the, the data, the information that you input here in like pretty much any way that's going to make sense for your brain. And that is why I just love Notion so much. So down below all of these properties here, I do have a couple of templates. I don't really use those anymore. So what we can do is actually create an empty page. And then here is where we can actually just start typing. So this is where I would put some notes about what I wanted to say in my video. If I wanted to create an outline of, you know, these are the three things that I'm going to cover in this video, I can put that information down there. If you're the type of person that likes to type out a word for word script, put that script down there. So that way it's inside of Notion. It's all in one place. You can open this up on your phone and drop some ideas in there when they come to you. Open it up on your iPad, do the same thing, and it will all be 
tied to this piece of content within Notion. Now lately I've been doing a little bit of a different uh, scripting uh, technique. I'm actually using a piece of paper. I can't really share this with you. I call it a block scripting process and it's something that I'm creating for myself to make content creation um, go quicker for me and go easier and create better content quickly. So this is just kind of like my own framework that I'm working on. Maybe at some point I'll share it with you, but I will definitely be sharing it with the Video Pursuit Society members first. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be wondering, okay, how do I actually create this for myself? And I'm gonna show you right now, but I also wanna let you know that I learned how to do this from a YouTube tutorial by Thomas Frank. And there are some other um, like content calendar template tutorial videos out there on YouTube if you search for them, um, because the way that I do it might not work for you, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I set this up. So inside of Notion, which by the way, you can get a free Notion account, just go to notion.so. So right here from my growth page, I can add a whole new one of these databases here. So we're gonna come down, you can see here, you can add um, just text, a heading, a list, um, a checkbox, anything like that here. But what we wanna do is create a table. We'll do a, uh, yeah, an inline table. And so this is my new table. So this is just like, well, it's not just like, cause it's way more robust, but it's a lot like a spreadsheet, like an Excel spreadsheet, that kind of thing. You have your columns, you have your rows, you have your cells, and it's the columns that are the properties that I was showing you in my table where I have the production cycle at the date that it's gonna be published. And so if you come over here to these three dots, come down to properties, this is where you add those columns to your table. So if we hit add property, we can say, um, you could do a cycle here and you could do it just like mine, which would be a select. So we have cycle and now you can see down here we have cycle. So in order to create those different kind of categories of the cycle, We'll create an actual row. We don't need to do tags. We don't have any options for the cycle to select here. So you can just type these in pre-production and we'll hit create. Um, and so just for fun, you can do production. Um, you can create all of these. And then if you just like X out of that, it'll be here under cycle. You can change the colors here. Um, to whatever you want. You don't have to use like the default. And so that's how you create your drop down select boxes. Um, and again, you could actually come over here to this plus button to create a new property, give it a name. This would be like date to publish. And then you come over here and you can select date. And then that way you have an actual date box. So come through here, play with these properties, see what might work best for you. And maybe just regular old text box might work best. And then you can put in whatever you want there, you know, as long as you can spell text, text. And when you click on this to open it up, you're going to click on that, um, that piece of data, that piece of content in your content calendar, you open it up and all of your properties are right here and you can start to script your video right below that. You can also add other stuff in here. Like you could add a whole other table. You could add a checkbox. You could add an image here if you wanted to upload an image. And all this will be saved right here for you. You can open it up at any time. And if you wanna get really fancy, you can actually create a template for yourself using this little blue box here. If you hit that down button, hit new template, and now you have a content template. And maybe here you have a, um, like a bulleted list of like 
step one. Like these might be the things where you're reminding yourself everything that you need to do to create your video. You can put anything you want in here and then you have created this content template. So content template, there we go. So now when you go to create a new piece of content, put your idea in here. We'll say, um, this is a new video idea. Hit enter, come over here, open this up. You can see at the very bottom, we have this content template here. All we have to do is hit that and it's gonna pull up whatever we have created in that template. You can see step one, step two, and then we can add to it from here. Now to view this as a board or in any other kind of way, all you have to do is come down to add a view. Right now we're viewing it as a table. If we want it to be a board, a timeline, a calendar, a list, or a gallery, you can create any of those. So if I select board and hit create, now we're going to have this new view and we can select what we want the board headings to be hit these three dots, hit group by, and since we don't have any tags, there's really nothing for it to sort by there. So we're gonna hit group by cycle. Now I know this has been a little bit of a whirlwind tour of how I use Notion as a content calendar to create my YouTube videos, my blog posts, and really run my entire business. And we didn't even get into any of the stuff outside of the content creation. But if this was helpful for you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments what questions you have about Notion because I am totally game for creating more um, templates, tutorials, and things that I know might help you out. And in fact, maybe I will make a template and link to it down in the description as well. Like probably if I, can, if I can do that before I publish this video, you'll find it down in the description.